Good afternoon. Today's Friday, January 6th, 2017. Today we're going to go over a new feature that's available in Google Docs. It's called, under File, you can click Download as EPUB. So an EPUB is a file format uh, that can be used by um, electronic book viewers. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how you could take the text out of a document, save it as an EPUB file, and then import it into a book format that you could read on your iPod or iPad. Uh, you could uh, easily use this uh, to customize uh, reading for children in your classroom. So let's go, let's go through it. Um, so I, all I have here is a plain document. Uh, you can see I, I made that a little bit bolder uh, by just clicking the B and changing the size a little bit bigger. Other than that, um, just uh, plain old text there. If I wanted to uh, insert any pictures, I could uh, certainly do that. I could just put the cursor wherever I wanted the picture. I could click on Insert, Image. I could search up here, and let's type in Gingerbread Man. A couple of pictures of some Gingerbread Man. We could scroll through, and let's say we wanted that one. That one looks good, and click on Select. Put it in there, it's a, probably a little bit bigger than I wanted to, so I could simply click it, drag, drag the uh, handle here, a little bit smaller, probably a little bit a uh, little bit big still. All right, there we go. Um, the other thing that we could do if we wanted to uh, not leave this big white space here, but wrap the text around it, we could simply just click uh, wrap text. There we go, and that makes it uh, look a little bit better here. Um, if I wanted to move it someplace else, I could click, drag, and I can move that uh, move that picture wherever I wanted to. So uh, let's let's leave it there. So I have uh, my title. I have my uh, text. It all uh, all looks good there. I see I have an extra space there. So let's uh, let's get rid of that. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and click on File, Download as EPUB. It's asking you where you want to download it. Uh, so we'll say, uh, we'll just download it to my downloads directory. We'll go ahead and click on save. All right, so now the file is downloaded to my computer. So then now the next thing we want to do is upload it to our Google Drive. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our Google Drive. Now let's click on New, File Upload, and we'll find the EPUB file that we downloaded. Uh, we can see here it says the little gingerbread man dot EPUB. So that's it. That's the file we want. We can go ahead and click on Open. And that's it. So it's in our Google Drive right now. So now um, let's switch over uh, to our phone or iPad. Okay. I have a uh, simulation of an iPad. Uh, iPad or iPhone here. All right, so here is uh, the iPhone. Um, I have a uh, Google Drive installed on this iPhone, uh, so we'll just search for the uh, gingerbread file. So we'll go ahead and type gingerbread. Okay, we can see that uh, two particular files uh, came up. Um, one says the little gingerbread man, the other says the little gingerbread man.epub. The epub file is the one that we want. That's the one that's going to open up in the book application. Uh, so if we go ahead and we click on that, uh, right away we get a message that says unable to open up file. Don't panic, uh, that's all right. Uh, we're, we're still definitely able to open it up. Uh, you'll see that there's an open in button uh, right there underneath that text. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And on the uh, bottom row here, um, where I'm scrolling here, um, we can click on Open In. So we'll go ahead and click on Open In. Okay. And then we see here, Copy to iBooks. So go ahead and let's click on that. Uh, that's it. So now the application is in iBooks. Uh, I'll show you where that is. If we click that arrow in the top left-hand corner, um, That'll list all the books that we have. So we only have one book in here right now. Uh, but if we go ahead and click on the little gingerbread man, uh, we'll see the text in, in book format. 
um, we can page through by uh, just swiping left or right. Um, if uh, the uh, individual needed the text bigger or smaller, we could do that uh, by clicking this uh, little a, big A up in the top right. And then um, you can see there's a little a or bigger a here. So if we click on the uh, larger a, you can see it makes it bigger. We can, and we can make it as big as we want. We click off there. And again, we can scroll there. And all, all of the text is there. We don't have to format it for different sizes uh, or anything like that. Uh, the application will do it for you uh, all by itself. You only have to make that document one time. Um, you can do other things like highlight and underline, um, and we could go over that another time. Today I just wanted to show you how you can get the text from a document inside an ebook uh, that you could use on an iPod or iPad uh, or iPhone. I'll put the links to the applications we use today in the notes of the document. Uh, I'll put the link for iBooks there as well as uh, Google Drive on iOS devices. Um, again, I hope you guys found this tip valuable, and I'll see you again next time. Have a good day.